Mid-State RV Center, the camping experts since 1989. Mid-State RV. Hello folks, I'm Lee Pickard of Mid-State RV Center, welcoming you to a brand new RV show. Today, before we get started, I'm down here in our delivery center. I want to tell you a little bit about it. This is a special facility we built just to make sure when you take delivery of your new RV that you understand how to use it, you're safe. We've got two professionals, Billy and Dennis. They've been in the business for over 20 years each. They understand everything and folks, when you take delivery from us, we want to make sure that you understand how to use your new toy. Let me tell you, we got a great show for you today. Tina and Chad's got some great service tips. Folks, we've taken on some new product lines, some new fifth wheels, Columbus and Cardinal fifth wheels. We want to show you those today. Tina's going to talk about a grand opening for our new parts department. Folks, stay tuned. It's going to be a great show today. For over 25 years, Mid-State RV Center in Byron has been Georgia's headquarters for motorhome sales and service. With over 350 motorized and towable units in stock, Mid-State RV offers top brands at competitive prices. Trade-ins are accepted, and we work hard to find finance options to fit your budget. We carry the world's most popular brands, including Forest River, Charleston, and Berkshire Diesel Motorhomes, as well as Sports Coach Diesels. So, what are you waiting for? Mid-State RV makes owning a motorhome more affordable than ever. Mid-State RV Center in Byron, the camping expert since 1989. Online at MidStateRV.com. Alright folks, uh, Brent Cox out here again on the lot showing y'all as many as I can in the amount of time that I have. You guys ever seen this show, you guys know as soon as that camera turns on I start running my mouth and I try to show you everything that I got. So listen, if, if you guys see something and you have any questions about it, uh, we're going to run our number on this TV show like 157 times. So just punch that in your phone, give us a shout, we'll answer any questions that you have. Um, I'm going to try to show y'all some, some fifth wheel lines that we just picked up. We've spent the last year uh, doing some research and studying on some of this stuff. We made sure this is a product that we feel comfortable with our customers purchase it from us and we are a hundred percent willing to back this product. This is a 2019 Cardinal Luxury 3950. Um, it's a rear living floor plan. Would be really good for somebody who's going full time or some people that like to go out on the weekends and be really really comfortable. If you uh, come up on the front uh, slam latches and magnetic door locks, a huge pass-through compartment in the front, put everything you need for using outside, you know, put your grill and stuff in there. One feature that's unique to this style of floor plan and the way that they do it at the Cardinal plant is when you come to the back, you actually have three more pass-through storage compartments. They're maybe a foot tall, but they're the whole length of the fifth wheel or the whole width of the fifth wheel. So that gives you a whole mess load of additional storage on a floor plan that typically honestly wouldn't have it if they hadn't have done it the way they did it. All right, so once you get to the inside, you see what I'm talking about, about the Cardinal Luxury. It's got uh, LG composite solid surface countertops. I know you guys can't pick this up, but it's, it's, a, it's a heavy countertop. Um, and like I said, unique to this floor plan, uh, you can see that the, the rear living part actually steps up. They built that so you'd have that storage compartment underneath. And it's like I said, I've had people look at this in the time that we've had it and tell me for full time, for storage, and it's just, it can't be beat. So we've got theater seating facing the television, um, and then your two couches, these actually let out. You've got, I think this is a, God knows, a big TV. It's a big one. We don't know how big it is, but it's big, okay? It's got a Bose sound bar and a electric um, fireplace. It's also, it's also just an electric furnace. Um, a lot of people, like I said, who are going full time, you know, they can use that to subsidize their gas furnace. 
so it'll keep you from running as much gas out. You've got a huge residential refrigerator that's made by LG as well. Uh, ice in the door, water in the door. They put this oversized Furion oven for those of you that are going out and baking turkeys and making chickens and doing stuff like that when you're out on the road. Three burner stove top and a big pantry. It's also got slide out drawers, which is good when you get to the bottom. If you do a shelf down here, I mean, you think you almost literally have to get down on the floor to get back to the back of it. So that's pretty cool. Got a light in there. You could probably put a coffee pot or something in there if you needed to. You got plenty of counter space in here though. There's some other storage um, on this side behind the pantry, just like a spice rack. Uh, and then a pile of cabinets over here. All right, so as soon as you come in, you actually have an LCI One Control Wi-Fi Gateway. This is a system called My RV. It's just basically a digital touch panel here with all your monitoring system on it, um, slide controls, lighting, the TV lift is actually on this. And this is actually, it's set up to where you can hook it to a cell phone. So if you wanted to get out and control your slides while you're outside watching them, making sure you're not hitting pine trees, kids, dogs, your truck, whatever, you can do that. And that's probably one of the biggest benefits to this specific system. You've also got power management system and the light switch that goes to something in here that we can't see, we don't know. Somebody's garage door is probably open when we press that. You hit this giganto. I mean, this is ridiculous how big this bathroom, this shower's like a, this is a residential shower, I bet. You could put three people in here. You probably shouldn't, but you could if you needed to. Um, single bowl sink, then you got a Dometic toilet high rise. Front bedroom, a um, little bit of cabinets here for some storage. You put your socks and your undies in there. Got a television. You've also got a little wardrobe here where you can, um, you know, fold your clothes up and stuff like that. These are cedar lined. The uh, closet actually has a cedar lined back, which is good. You keep the uh, moths and stuff out of there. You got two additional chairs that are stored up here for the table. And this is washer dryer prepped. Again, I mean, this thing really suits somebody who wanted to go full time. All right, folks, the next one up is a 2019 Columbus 366 RL. Uh, this is a 1492 edition, uh, which is the like the higher up on the Columbus. This is their premium. And fun fact, uh, 1492, uh, Christopher Columbus discovered something. So, slam latches, magnetic door locks. You come right here, you've got your television for the outside, actually swivels out. So you can sit under the awning, watch Rambo, Die Hard, Old Yeller, the whole shebang. Then you've got a huge pass-through. Um, you know, store all your rugs, your, your uh, lawn chairs and stuff like that in. And on this model, you also have, when you come to the back here, which is, a pretty cool feature. I think most people that go out on the weekends and stuff, they do most of their cooking outside because everybody wants to grill. So you got a two burner stove, you got a refrigerator out here, and a microwave. Um, this acts pretty well as shade. You know, if you guys have been outside today, but it's about a thousand degrees, it feels kind of good under here. I'd stand here and cook something. Once we circle to the inside, you see, again, this is another a quality line that we want. We want it to be available to our customers. And it's like I said, we also, we've checked it out. We trust them. I mean, these, the Columbus, the Cardinal, they're built really well. Another one with solid surface countertops. Like I said, it's got a big, heavy countertop. This one actually has an induction uh, stove top on it. It does not have an oven. It has a convection microwave. So you can still bake, if, if you're into you know baking cookies and stuff like that while you're out, you can still do that in this. Now when you get to the back, this is another rear living. Um, it's got your theater seat in here. They put you some nice throw, well these might not be in there. I'm gonna take these home with me maybe. Um, but they put you some nice throw pillows. You've still got your fireplace. You got your big old TV and your Bose sound bar. This is actually something um, that we, I've never really seen one of these, but they call this a Chataman. Uh, it's additional seating. 
and it actually sets up as a chair in, in, a, in an ottoman. A big residential shower, um, you've got that Dometic toilet and a single bowl sink. You can see up in here, um, basically the whole front cap is just storage. I mean, it's closet space. It's actually got this little looped around bar. You've got a, a shelf up top for, like I said, folding stuff, putting your guns, putting whatever. And then a couple of little shelves in the back where you could put some tennis shoes and you know things like that. It's like I said, a lot of these are geared more toward people who want to stay out for extended periods of time. Last, this is the final one. This is all the time that I've got. It's like I said, I want to show you guys everything, but I'm going to show you all this three. And then y'all have to come out here and look if you want to see the rest of them. Uh, 2019 Columbus 383 FB. The FB stands for front bath. When you put the bath in the front of a fifth wheel, you're going to see what I'm talking about. It's ridiculous. I mean, if you want a bathroom, you, you fix it and get one here in just a second. But on this, when you get to the front, I mean, this is a lot. This is a bathroom right here. If you, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Um, I, don't, I don't know that there's a fifth wheel bathroom comparable to this on anything. It's a slide out right here. So actually this, uh, this whole vanity and stuff like this is in a slide out. You've got your shower on the other side and this is a residential shower with a glass door on it. Got your little Dometic toilet. Then when you get up into the front, they still, I mean, it's a walk-in closet on a fifth wheel, folks. You've got washer dryer prep and additional closet storage um, here in the cap and your two chairs are in addition to the ones that you have on the table so you can always swing those out they're fold up. That is all the time that I have to show you all the fifth wheels. I, like I said, I, I wish I could show you everything. You can see I have got one that's every shape, every size. I mean, I've got something for anybody and everybody out here. If you guys get some time, y'all need to come down. Exit 149 in Byron. If you don't have time, just call. There's a bunch of people here that would be absolutely excited to answer any questions that you guys have. We appreciate y'all. Thank you so much. Welcome to the RV Show here at Mid-State RV Center. I'd like to introduce you to our service department and our service team. Now we've been in business since 1989 and the reason we've done that is because we've always had a solid company mission and that's been that we sell RVs to make friends and we service them to keep them. Now we've been doing this for years and years and we've serviced thousands of customers and we're going to be here for years to come to take care of all your RV needs. Anything that you need to have done from a travel trailer to a diesel motorhome, just give us a call here at our service department and let our service team take care of you. We've been the camping experts here in Byron since 1989. As you can see, we're going through some change here at Mid-State RV Service Department. And to expand on that a little bit further, I'd like to introduce Tina Pickard. She's the owner and director of operations here at Mid-State RV Center. The changes at Mid-State RV Service Department are aimed at taking better care of our customers. Though you can still come here and get your special order parts, we have built a brand new showroom for RV parts directly across the street from sales. Chester and I are so excited to invite you in to visit with us at the RV Parts Showroom. So welcome to Mid-State RV Center's Showroom for RV Parts. We have an excellent selection of RV furniture here at the showroom, and I think that Chester is very impressed with this recliner. This recliner is one of my favorites as well. So come try it out. It's really comfortable. It gets rid of that stress in your lower back. I just wanted to make sure to show you this Blue Ox hitch that I'm really, really excited about. Um, this uh, price point is $15.95, but the great part is if you have a hide -a ball system like this one is set up for, um, you do not have any installation costs. We put these together and we can set them into your truck right on that hide -a ball system. 
and the advantage of the blue ox over a lot of other type hitches uh, is that it, you don't get the chucking, you have the, the nice slicker plate built in, you don't get that chucking, that banging that you have typically with a slider type hitch, uh, you know, both your Reese's and, and your Demco's. You know, I've noticed that, you know, when I'm just riding around with a hitch in the back of my truck, those would constantly clank and it's very disconcerting. Well, I have this in the back of my truck now and I don't hear a thing, don't even know it's back there. And for you, those of you who need a slider hitch, you know, this, you know, is in the position of uh, towing, you know, what the position that it was back in is so that you get away from the cab of the truck, you know, just like with any slider hitch. So this takes the place of a slider hitch for a short wheelbase type truck. Hi, welcome to Miss State RV Center's business office. I'm Mark McDonald, I'm the business manager. I've been here since May of 2000, and we're here to make sure that we can uh, help you uh, get your new RV. Our goal here at Miss State RV Center is to find you the right RV. That's the RV that fits your needs and fits your budget. Once you pick out your new RV or your used RV, you'll come back here and Mike and I will do our best to make sure we can find you the financing terms that that you want, the ones that's gonna make camping experience best for you. We offer short-term loans, terms as short as 60 months, or for those larger purchases, say in a, uh, a big motor home, a fifth wheel, we do offer terms out to 240 months. So that makes camping affordable and easy for you and your family. Regardless of your credit history, be it perfect or be it not so perfect, we've got lenders that we can work with to help you. And my goal here is to make it as easy as possible. You can give us a call, 1-800-226-3654, uh, or you can go to our website, www.midstaterv.com. Click on the Finance tab. You'll see a link. You can send me an email directly, or you can fill out our online credit app. doesn't get much simpler than that, but after all, this is a recreational vehicle business, and we're here to have fun. So I look forward to hearing from you. Hello everyone, we're here today to talk about some of the appliances you're going to find in RVs, particularly here at Mid-State RV Center. Here's Chad Farrington, uh, Director of Parts and Service and Body Shop, uh, to discuss uh, the refrigerators that you might find in RVs. Well, it's something we're seeing now, uh, especially more common in the last few years if you've got a newer unit, is they've actually started using residential type refrigerators in RVs. Uh, these are basically the same units that you'll see in your house. Uh, of course, you see this is a, a smaller model uh, that fits nicely in an RV without sacrificing too much space. Uh, it's, like I said, it's, it's the same thing that you would have in your house. There's, there's really no maintenance to it. Um, it runs off a compressor, um, generally repaired by the same people that do home appliance repairs. Now something to keep in mind with these is uh, anytime you're running this refrigerator, uh, it's going to require a 110 volt power source, but um, yeah, if you take care of it, um, it's going to last you a long time. Well this is your uh, standard RV style uh, range oven combination. Now all RVs aren't going to have an oven, um, typically you'll have a range in any of them. These operate uh, strictly off of uh, propane gas, uh, no electronics to it. Uh, very much like a campsite cook stove, just uh, made into a more uh, house type appliance for our beers. Uh, you see it has a three burner cooktop, uh, as well as an oven for baking. 
All RVs are typically going to have a microwave in them. Uh, you will find that they're going to be built-in microwaves uh, so that they stay secure while you're in travel. Uh, depending on the floor plan, the layout of the unit, you'll have different size, different configurations. Some will have the range hood built into the microwave, uh, but typically uh, they're going to uh, operate exactly like a household microwave would. What I wanted to show you here is the back side of our gas absorption refrigerator. Um, of course, these are your coils where the ammonia is contained. Uh, you have a DC control board here that controls all functions of this refrigerator. Now, behind this housing here, this is your burner housing. This is going to be where the heating element and the burner for the propane gas are located in this unit. One of the things you need to be aware of is you want to keep this area really clean. Uh, you want to do your maintenance uh, regular. Uh, you, you want to look for dirt daubers can get in here. Just uh, really keep this whole area clean. Uh, spiders can get in here and build cobble, uh, spider webs that will clog up your burner assemblies. Um, you know, I'd recommend getting your unit into the shop at least once a year for us to do a, a refrigerator maintenance for you because uh, the last thing you want to do is get on a trip and you start having problems and we can take care of those situations for you before they happen. And uh, this is the, the vent cover for your refrigerator. Just pops in at the top, push it in at the corners, and twist the tabs, and it's locked in for transportation. What we have here is, uh, is your, your basic uh, Dometic RV air conditioner. Uh, we, we were lucky enough to have one that uh, was unpackaged and we could put it on the lift here so you could see it up close. Uh, they run off 110 volt power. Now, uh, what you want to be sure you do is, uh, of course, when you're out there, it's Georgia, uh, it's hot, it's humid. Uh, any air conditioner struggles. I know mine does at the house in July. So uh, what you're typically going to see with an air, uh, air conditioner that's functioning properly is you should get somewhere between an 18 to 20 degree uh, discharge temperature. That means uh, temperature change from the temperature at the return to uh, the closest vent to the air conditioner. So what you want to do is because it's all function off airflow, you want to be sure you're always keeping your filters clean. I mean, I, I, you know, replace them or most of them are washable. You want to take them out, wash them as much as possible. You need to keep the coils on the back of the air conditioner clean as well. That just uh, you know, keeps it efficient uh, and it's going to help with the longevity of the appliance. It's going to make it last longer and it's going to work a lot better for you. Uh, you know, there again, that's something to come see us about and you know, we can take care of all your RV maintenance for you here at our service department. Now something to bear in mind, uh, an air conditioner like this, you know, when you're camping, uh, you've got all the luxuries of home. Uh, they do require a good bit of power. Uh, if you've got a unit that has 30 amp service, uh, an AC unit like this is probably going to pull somewhere around 18 amps at startup. Uh, and then when it's running uh, on high cool, it's probably going to pull a constant 13 to 14 and a half amps, just depending on the conditions. So, you know, when you start talking about something like that, you know, this guy's using almost half the power in your camper. You know, you're not going to be able to go uh, blow dry your hair all the time, or, you know, you just got to, you just got to manage your power and, and just understand where it's at. But, you know, these, uh, these are great units and, uh, you know, you do your maintenance on them and, and they'll last you for years. Hi folks, here to talk about your converter and your 12 volt system. Now this also is where your alternating current, your AC power comes in from your short cord and you have, just like in a home, you have circuit breakers. But over here you begin to see some of the 12 volt uh, legs that come off of this, you know, to power, you know, your 12 volt systems, your lights, which are typically your lights and then any of the controls for refrigerators, air conditioners, thermostats all come from this 12 volt power and what you have is that system, that kind of uh, pairing system of battery and converter which this one you can't see it, it's underneath here I'll show you one a little later yeah, the converter converts that alternating current to your 12 volt necessary for so many systems on an RV which we'll, t we'll talk about more in depth. This is called a shore cord. This one is a twist lock. Some of them are built into the unit, you know, and they're usually in a compartment. But uh, oh, got a little dust. We're doing a little body work on this one. But anyway, let's step around and look at this inverter system for a household refrigerator. 
Like I mentioned, you have that shore cord coming into that distribution panel, and you're going to have the converter typically in these pull type products in that distribution center. But also for your household refrigerators who require alternating current to run at all times, you have an inverter specifically designed to run that household alternating current refrigerator with a compressor. Here we are at a motorhome. What you saw before were travel trailer fifth wheel. Here we are at a motorhome and we're talking about the 12 volt system and how you achieve the 12 volt in a motorhome. This one has a combination magnum energy that both converts uh, your, your 110 volt to your 12 volt and it also has a, a built-in inverter so that it can operate off of the batteries in order to power, like this unit has, the household type refrigerator. It can also, in this unit, and each unit's a little bit different, it can power your TV and entertainment systems as well. Here you can see, being a motorhome, you know, with that inverter-converter combination, a little larger refrigerator, a home-style refrigerator, um, really nice because you get all that extra room, but again, it's alternating current. It doesn't run off a 12 volt alone with that LP absorption ammonia system. So, again, you know, at least with the motorhome, you almost always have a generator. So, crank the generator if you're going to be there for a very long period of time, keeping that refrigerator cold. Also, I wanted to just show some of the differences. Being a motorhome, you don't have the oven, you just have the cooktop. And uh, then you have an, uh, a convection type microwave. So you have both convection cook, you know, the, just kind of like an oven, a convection oven. And then you also have the microwave combo. Like in some of your towable products that have that inverter that runs that um, household refrigerator, for instance, you're also going to have separate from the inverter always a converter. Every RV is going to have a converter in it, you know, whether it's that distribution combo or this deck mount type, because RVs require 12 volt power not just for the lights, but for the controls on your air conditioner, your refrigerator, for your you know, RV type refrigerators, water heaters, furnace, 12 volt is a very important part of your RV and it's very important also to maintain those batteries. Uh, you can always, usually it's a wet type battery, so you gotta check the water levels in your battery because with this uh, converter, typically what can happen if you get a little bit low on the water, it starts overcharging, your battery boils over, and then you have problems with your whole 12 volt system. So, you know, the com converter and the battery work hand in hand, that kind of dual coupling, you know, to make sure you have adequate 12 volt in your RV. Okay, when you're plugged in to that shore power, you know, wherever, uh, 50 or 30, we have these, um, surge protectors, you know, you usually have a surge protector on your computer and you know, maybe some of your electronics. Well, you got to remember the 12 volt system is very sensitive and if it gets that spike from, you know, just a power company or lightning, uh, this will protect your RV and the 12 volt as well as, you know, your 110 volt systems in the camper so that um, you don't have to file that insurance claim for a surge. Hey folks, well I hope you enjoyed the show today. It was a great day. Folks, we want your business. Come see us at Mid-State RV Center in Byron, Georgia, the camping experts.